I was 26 years old. My wife was 24. I met her. I was a straight player. I mean, listen, dude, I'm not a very good looking guy. I married a big time on my wife. You guys know that, right? Yes. Guess what happened? Look, we don't need that big a ass, okay? Listen, <laughs> all right? I mean, I was a little aggressive, right? I'm, I'm not that ugly. Let's crank up this mic. Let's crank up this mic. Can you guys hear me in the back? All right, all right. Number one, everybody say thank you, Ryan Pineda. Thank you, Ryan. Say thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. All right, all right. Why would we say thank you, Ryan? Because it's events like this that allowed me to build a hundred million dollar business in about four years. And I'm going to tell you today, when guys like Ryan put on events like this, a lot of us, we come out here, we go to Vegas, we network, we exchange a couple numbers, and we go home and we didn't change our identity. Think about it. Every one of you in here, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Because I'm not going to teach you. I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to tell you how to get out of here and live your best life unless you can think of a time that literally you didn't deserve grace. That, that identity, I was stuck there for 20 years. I'm going to tell every single one of you, your identity, who you think you are, is the most powerful weapon on planet Earth. Do you understand? Does everybody understand? Yes. Listen to me. I run a nine-figure, right? Write down how much money you make on a piece of paper. I run a nine-figure company. I quit my, w my W-2 job in 2019. I sat right there, you, you see all these guys, Tony Robbins, greatest student I ever had in my, in my coaching program, built a $100 million business. You know, David Goggins, I watched David Goggins for two years straight, my wife's like, dude, turn that shit off, you ain't smiling no more. I'm like, God, I just gotta get it in my head. I was trying to brainwash myself to kill off this old me. Everybody say, kill off the old me. Kill off the old me. That's it, that's what you gotta do. Listen, the play that you're currently running, the life that you currently have is because of you. Even if I give you a new strategy today, even if I show you how to build social media to generate 100 million plus views every 30 days, even if I showed you how to build a culture like I have, 100 fire-breathing dragons that helped me build everything and I helped them build their lives, even if I showed you all of it, if your identity didn't change, nothing would change. Do you guys understand? Listen, guys, I sat in a room like this, and it was with Patrick Bet David. Who loves Patrick Bet David? Raise your hand. Patrick Bet David said something that I'll never forget. And then he said something that followed that, and this shaped my whole life. And by the way, all those people that said all those amazing things on that video, and I have, I have tons of them, and I've changed millions of lives. Out of all of them, the greatest one of all was when my wife finally said, I'm proud of you. Listen to me. You guys got to understand this. You want to win? You want to go big? There's two things that people do. Either one, they're running towards the life they want, or two, they're running from the life they hate. I ask every one of you to think about something you did that you're like, damn, man, no one would ever forgive me for that. God, if that had gotten the public, man, I wouldn't, <laughs> I would never be able to recover. I almost went to jail. Just tell every single one of you, I almost went to jail. My wife said she learned to live without me. I could tell my kids were looking at me. I wasn't their hero, I was disconnected. I was sleeping in the same bed with my wife. I was better than most. That's fucking poison. Better than most will be the most dangerous poison you ever drink in your life. I'm telling you guys, I only come here today, today to teach you guys all to be the greatest leaders on planet Earth. You guys wanna make more money? Yeah. Yeah. Increase your value. How do you increase your value? Become something that's scarce. What's the greatest, greatest scarcity in this world? Leadership. In the family, in the community, and in the home, and in the business. My number one goal today is when I'm done here, look, these slides, I may not make it through one. I'm not even gonna lie. That's just how I am. Who believes in God? Raise your hand. All right, we're gonna say, we're gonna say a three-second prayer. Ready?
Hey there, sales warriors. Are you tired of facing objections left and right, struggling to close deals, and watching your competitors snatch away your prospects? Well, you're not alone. Recent surveys indicate that a whopping 72% of sales professionals struggle with handling objections, leading to missed opportunities and lost revenue. But fear not, there's a solution to this all too common problem. Enter Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook, your ultimate guide to mastering sales strategies and objection handling like a pro. Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook isn't just a collection of tips and tricks, it's a comprehensive roadmap to success packed with actionable insights and real world examples that you can start implementing right away. And here's the best part. Andy's playbook isn't just for seasoned sales veterans. Whether you're a rookie looking to kickstart your career or a seasoned pro aiming to sharpen your skills, there's something for everyone in this playbook. So if you're ready to arm yourself with the knowledge and confidence you need to crush objections, close more deals, and skyrocket your sales career, don't hesitate. Click the link below to grab your copy of Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook today. Remember, success favors the prepared. Equip yourself with the tools you need to outshine the competition and become a sales powerhouse. The time to elevate your game is now. Now let's make this your best year yet. Now let's get back to the video. God, please break me of my weaknesses. Everybody say it. God, please break me of my weaknesses. Amen. That is it. Every one of you in here has a weakness. You have something. There is something you need to kill off to get your new life. That is it. I know. I'm the guy that sat right here. Patrick Bed David said, future truth. What does that mean? That means, who do you want to be? How do you guys want to be seen? How do you see the world? What kind of money do you make? How much does your wife love you? I mean it, my wife, she's my counselor, she's my workout partner, she's my best friend. Y'all just heard her speak, right? Yeah. How was she? Yeah. I wanna ask every one of you, God, God made you guys for community and communion, right? Yes. How are you to your partner? Do listen, if you want your partner to be a badass like my wife, I had to become a badass partner. She can't be one if I'm not one. And some of you in here, you want to make more money. You want your customers to spend more with you. You don't even spend. I'll bet at the end, Ryan will make it an offer. Come train with me. I'll teach you guys more. It's X amount. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. Whoever can make decisions the quickest wins. That's it. If you like Patrick Bed David, what does he say? Make bold moves. Are you worth it? Yes or no? Yes. Know your value. Know your value. I've always worn short shorts. I run around, listen guys, hey, I've ran around, no, no, I love it because listen, I've been made fun of my whole life. Dude, it's food. Do you guys get it? Listen, I'm very successful. I don't know how the fuck this happened. <laughs> I'm not even joking. You know how I think I did it? I think I did it because number one, I became a leader. Right here, I became a leader. What is a leader? A leader is somebody that self-leads. Look, dude, if I walk up to any one of you right now, do I wanna look like you? Do I wanna talk like you? Do I wanna dress like you? Do I wanna believe like you? Do I wanna treat people like the way that you treat them? The way that you treat your family? Do I wanna treat my family that way? Do you build me up to feel strong and feel great and make me feel powerful when I'm around you? Do you leave me better off than when, when you first met me after I meet you? If you don't do that stuff, you're not gonna be my leader. Listen, you wanna build an army? You wanna, you wanna put a, fence, a financial fence around your family in case something ever happens to you, they're in a good place? My family's in a good place, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Number one, future truth. You better know who you wanna be because if you don't, the world's gonna tell you who you're gonna be. That's step one. And every single one of you, I'm gonna tell you this, there's not a bad guy in the room that can ruin you. The bad guy's inside of you, okay? You gotta kill off that person. You have to plug into good information like the one I'm giving you right now, and you have to become the greatest leader on planet Earth. Step one of leadership, lead yourself. Step two, once you lead yourself, others will show up and want to be led by you because you've set the example, set the standard, and set the tone for what winning looks like. Hey, you know what you'll always get with me and my wife? The truth. Look, dude, you don't have to like me. You're gonna get the truth. Remember last time I came out here, I said, you want me to feed you 
You know, ice cream like a three, four, five-year-old make you feel good? Or do you want the cold, hard truth? You want me to treat you like the badass you are? Here's the truth. Direct honesty and truth is where change starts. Looking in the mirror and being proud of yourself, only 0.0001% of the people in the world ever feel that. I want you to hear what I just said. Looking in the mirror and being proud of yourself. Dude, listen, 39 years old, sitting right there, I'm 44 today. Patrick Bet David says future truth. I love Ryan Pineda. I love Patrick Bet David. I love Bradley. I love Andy Frazella. I love Ed Milet. I love God. I love my wife. I love David Goggins. I love all these people that have sown into me and they have taught me. How many of you in here, you already know what to do? You've been taught. But you haven't become it. You haven't changed your identity. When are you going to change your identity? Right now. I'm going to tell you guys something. Can you guys be crazy? You're going to have to be to make it. Listen to me. You're going to have to draw a line in the sand, and it's going to have to look like this. I was, 20, I was 26 years old. My wife was 24. I met her. I was a straight player. I mean, listen, dude, I'm not a very good-looking guy. I married a big time with my wife. You guys know that, right? Guess what happened? Look, we don't need that big a yes, okay? Listen, all right? I mean, I was a little aggressive, right? I'm not, I'm not that ugly. But anyways, my point is, I met my wife, and you know what she said? She said, if you ever cheat on me, I don't care if you got drugged, drunk, whatever, I'm gone. I don't want to hear it. And, you know, I've been around stupid people my whole life, and I was pretty stupid myself. So I could cheat on someone and get away with it. And they would be like, oh, it's okay. You know, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't mean to. I got drunk. You know what I mean? I was a kid. Dude, I, my mom left when I was two. I was raised on the street by kids. I wish she would have been my mom. She wasn't. Okay? She probably would have raised me right. But you know what happened? I was a piece of shit, just like some of you were. And I asked you guys to think about some of the stuff you did in your life. You know what I'll tell you to do? Start over. Everybody say, come back, kid. kid. That's what I am. You want to be one? You want to mess up, then come back. That's it. Dude, when you make a mistake, you either become a loser and you look at yourself in the mirror and you hate yourself and then you go into a depressed mode and you quit working on you and everything falls apart. It's called self-sabotage. And a lot of you know what it is. And I swear, a lot of you in here, you're hurting just like I was hurting. And I got a badass life now. I got a badass team. I got a badass family. I make a shit ton of money. I made a decision. I go, dude, I'm qualified. I've done everything wrong. I screwed everyone over. They screwed me over. I was a hurt person running around hurting people. You know what I wasn't? I wasn't a leader, and I never had a good leader in my life. Never. How old are you right now? You need to think. There's a day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. I'm not even joking. I sat there. Patrick Bet David said, future truth. Who do you want to be? I went home with my wife. I made a vision board. Yeah, I had the Ferrari, Lambo, you know, $20 million house, liquid cash, big team, big revenue. But you know what also I had? Over on the right, I had to look in the mirror and be proud of me. I wanted to freaking like me. I did not like me. How many of you at some point haven't liked yourself? Raise your hand. Who in here has got the courage to raise their hand and not be a little weenie? That's what I'm saying. See, listen, listen. See, if you can't own the truth, you can never change. You guys get me? Listen, hey, you guys are more qualified than me. Draw nine zeros down on a piece of paper. Sit right there. He said, who do you want to be? I said, I want my wife to be proud of me. Listen to me. I don't care if you're in a relationship, you're going to be in one one day. And if you're in one right now, you better lead that motherfucker. Okay? And how do you do it? Self-leadership. You want her to love you more, you love her more. You want her to get in shape, you get in shape first. Okay? You want to do anything, you do it first. That's the, that's the rule. Dude, you guys love God. If you want your partner to follow God, you don't say, you better follow God or I'm out. You show them what God and love looks like, then they want to know who you know. You guys understand? Yeah. yeah. I have something inside of me that is burning. An ethos, a core value, a standard. 
And I am not running towards a rich life. I am running away from a life that I hated. I wish some of you guys could understand today, I'm gonna change 25% of all your lives today. 75% of you, you're gonna want it, but you don't have the courage and you can't make bold moves. Me and my wife, we went back home, we made a decision from this day forward. Everybody say from this day forward. From this day forward. We were gonna be leaders. That's it, we decided, we decided that we were gonna operate and run with the highest form of human excellence on planet Earth. She became my, she became my workout partner. Listen, has, have you guys ever heard, who's in a relationship, raise your hand. You guys ever heard, don't go to bed angry? You know what that means? Have sex every night. <laughs> just, just so everybody's aware. Yes, there you go. That's my guy. He needs to get laid. All right, everybody here, listen. Everybody listen to me. Hey, and I know I, there's people who won't laugh. I can't believe he's talking about sex. I can't believe it. Hey, no matter what, you got, if you believe in God, I know you believe in the devil. Every night, he's trying to crawl in our bed. I know. It's funny. Every day, he's trying to crawl in your head. Me and my wife, if we have sex every night, and I'm going to tell you, we do. By the way, everybody understand this if you have a partner. If you're, if you're married, he cannot crack your marriage. Swear to God, test me. I don't care. She's my superpower. By the way, again, everything that you want in your life, okay, go ask an unsuccessful person what they'll tell you will tell you the opposite of what I'm telling you. You guys want to get really successful? Yeah. Listen up. I don't care who talks shit on me. I've never cared. A lot of you in here, you're trying to take advice from people that you don't want to be, that you don't want to become. My message today is that if you want to go to the next level, leadership. Here's the three rules and then I'm going to teach. Number one, self-leadership. If you're not leading yourself, no one else will want to be led by you, period. Everybody say walking billboard. Walking billboard. What does that mean? That means I see the way that you take care of yourself, the way you take care of yourself. If you can't take care of you, how can I trust you to take care of me? My job is not to take care of my wife. Her job is not to take care of me. My job is to take care of me for her. If I'm not strong, how can I protect her? How can I protect my kids? How can you lead a team? How will anyone want to follow you if you don't take care of yourself? Some of you are like, I'm sick of them talking about health. Oh yeah? Wait till you lose it. Wait till you lose it. You'll be freaking sitting there saying, God, I'll give it all away if you can just give me my health back. Go ahead, don't listen to me. Dude, the enemy doesn't want you to listen. Do you guys feel my heart? Yeah. yeah. I used to pull the six pack or you're fired. You guys saw the shit. I was pretty direct. I'm still direct. I needed to shed a version of me. My wife goes, you have such a good heart, Andy. I guys, I hated my life. I'm here today to tell every one of you that we're all the same. Just so you're aware, we're all the same. We're all fucked up. I know, we're fucked up Christians. You know what I'll tell you? If you can unfuck yourself, now you're an entrepreneur. Now you're an entrepreneur Christian who now just needs to become a leader and now you'll lead and build the life you want. Do you understand? Let's go. Guys, that's it. Okay, everybody look at this. Changing the psychology of the leader will change any business or any person faster than anything else. What is a psychology? The way you see something. Some of you right now, I'm telling you the truth, but the way that you see how I'm talking and what I'm saying, you can't process it because you see through a certain set of lenses. You're a Christian, do you see things through the eyes of the world or through God's eyes? Which one? What did he do to David? When David went against Goliath, nobody thought David should go fight Goliath, right? I crush Goliaths for a living. Everybody listen. When I got, when I was an automotive salesperson 
and I got in out of the car business and I started my training company, it took me 18 months to wipe out Grant Cardone. I want to tell you guys, Goliath, small underdog, David. David had an identity. Who was his father? Who's your father? How strong are you? What are you capable of? Who have you been listening to? I'm not a very religious person. I got a relationship with God and I think he put me here and he hasn't killed me yet because I got work to do. My goal is to change people's lives. I am here because I want to be the next Tony Robbins. That's my goal. But I don't want to be the only one. You see, I'm here because I want to build another thousand or another million. How many of you guys would like to become a great example in this world and literally go impact millions of people's lives? How many? Okay, do you guys feel me? How many of you believe you can? What work do you need to do? Enjoy the journey. This is present. Do you guys understand? Hope in the future is something that I love, but this is present. We're here. You're here with me. When I go to wife, when I go to my wife uh, to have dinner, I'm with her for dinner. I'm not thinking about the next deal tomorrow at work. You're with me now. Not, not the after party VIP. You're here with me now. How many of you, you came out here because you're ready for something to change? One thing, my wife's like, they're itching for something just like I was. And some of you, again, I say it all the time, you're playing around on your phones. Your family's going to continue to suffer. You missed your opportunity. And by the way, are we alive in a generation, in an era right now where it's never been easier? Yes or no? Never been easier. Okay. I want to give you a little secret. I'm going to move through this quick. Don't ever let vices or strongholds or addictions hold you down. I dominate social media. I get 100 to 150 million views every 30 days. If you go check my phone, I don't have social media on my phone. No fucking way. It ain't gonna get me. That shit's harder to kick than crack cocaine. And you know it, right? If you wake up in the morning and you roll over and grab your phone, you're an addict. 90% of you in here are addicts. Put it on your computer, pay someone else to handle it. Get off it. Don't run around and look like you have a life. Build a real life. Listen, listen to me. I'm an influencer, but I also own a real business. If if the social media shut down today, I'd still have a $100 million business, you get it? But what if today, social media that makes you feel good, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, all the things that rush, all these chemicals that come from every time you see your phone go off, what if you took it off your phone, check it out on your computer when you go home, but you actually got work done. You were more present in conversations, right? You didn't have to swipe up and refresh to look at anything because there was nothing to look at. How much more do you think all of you would grow? Why am I telling you this? Because I am successful. And when a successful person talks, you should listen. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm telling you what I did. You guys need to understand this. You don't have to change anything. Broke arrogance is the biggest thing in the world. People that don't have a life that they want, but yet they run around and say, yeah, but, yeah, but you don't understand. No, 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 no. You don't understand. The play that you're currently running, who you currently are is the life that you have. I'm telling you two things. One, you need to run a new play today. Two, you need to become a new person. And by the way, if ever given an opportunity to cut the check for speed, cut it. I spent over a million dollars on self-development last year. Best money I ever spent. You, a lot of you are real estate people. You might get 7 to 20% ROI on real estate. Dude, you'll get 1,000% on self-investment. Do you understand? This, listen, a warrior's greatest weapon is his mind. Your greatest responsibility, all of you in here, your greatest responsibility is to be in control of your thoughts. 
Don't ever let someone control your thoughts. Who's the gatekeeper to your mind? If you got a thought in your head right now, whose fault is it, good or bad? No one else in here can make any of you happy. No one can. I can't make her happy. She's got to decide to be happy. She can't make me happy. I've got to decide to see the way that she loves me as a good thing. I got to see the world a certain way. I got to have a certain perspective. Only I can make me happy. Does that make sense? Yeah. For some of you in here, you can't seem to get fucking happy. It's your problem. No one else can make you happy. That's why you have to take care of yourself. Super important guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. I started making good decisions, eating clean food, working out. Some of you in here, you haven't put yourself first in a very long time. Would you agree? You put your kids first, you put your wife first, you put your husband first, you put your job first. You're the last thing that you think about yourself every day. What do you think would happen if you reversed it, started putting yourself first, felt good about yourself, loved yourself again? What could you do for those other areas now? I just gave you the secret. I just gave it to you, okay? I just gave it to you. My job is to take care of me for her. Her job is to take care of her for me. My job is to take care of me for my team. You pour everything you got into something, you'll look up, you'll be empty and there'll be nothing left for you to do for that person or yourself. The whole family's in trouble. And that's why a lot of these families are in trouble because you guys individually don't take care of yourself anymore. Okay, step one, self-leadership. Changing the psychology of the leader will change the business faster than anything else. By the way, the quality of your life at this moment is because of the level of your leadership. Does that make sense? Okay, say it one more time. The quality of every single one of your lives in here will come down to the level of your leadership today. So if you want a new life, leadership's got to go up, okay? All right, leaders live for a bigger vision than themselves. This is very simple. You know when I got rich, by the way, have a rich life and get rich. Would everybody agree? The art of achievement and the art of a fulfillment. How many of you know somebody that makes good money that is not happy? Yep. I know lots of them. Leaders live for a bigger vision than themselves. I'm here to tell you one thing. I am here for one reason. I want to see you guys get everything that everyone said in your life that you couldn't have. You guys see my shirt? It says psycho competitor. Who said somebody bet against them? Nobody? Everybody's like, oh my God, you're amazing. You're going to kill it. Has anyone had anybody bet against them? Right now, prove them right or prove them wrong. On the back of my shirt, it says, may God have mercy on my enemies because I won't. Tell me it won't happen. Tell me, I'm, tell me, look, every day, this is what I say. May God have mercy on my enemies because I won't. Tell me it won't happen. Laugh in my face. Thank you. I love you. I owe you. I need that. It's food and it motivates me. What would make you guys work harder? If I told you you weren't going to make it or if I told you you could? Which one makes you want to work harder? I wouldn't make it. I want everybody to think. If somebody said you weren't going to make it, I never had anybody tell me nice things except for that young lady right there. Today, everywhere I go, I walk in an airport, three, four, five hundred people want to say hi. I walk, in a, I walk in a mall, 500 people come up to me. I'm with my kids. Everybody's like, man, you changed my life. That's what I want with all of you. Listen to me. I am here today to build the greatest leaders on planet Earth. You want to get rich? Yes. You got to change your intentions. If you want to get rich, 
From now on, every person you run into on planet Earth, you leave them better than you found them. Leaders live for a bigger vision than themselves. You guys don't have to go to church to run a ministry. I mean it. You guys can start becoming good fucking people. Okay? You know how many people are hurting out there? A lot of you in here are really hurt. You know what hurt people do? Hurt people. Turn your wounds into your weapons. You guys got me? Whatever you can overcome, you can help someone else overcome. Whatever, if you're a drug addict, you can help someone overcome a drug addiction. If you're a negative person and you can stop being negative, you can overcome or you can teach anyone else how to stop being negative. This is my goal for you today, is to realize everything that you're doing in your life that is a whole is to fix it. You know what's cool? You guys can leave out of here and in the next two to three years, we can create more multimillionaires than anyone else has ever done in their life. As long as you guys will get pissed off and get serious. I remember when I sat there, Patrick Bet David, my brother Bradley, Ryan Pineda, all these guys are like, dude, we're gonna change people's lives. And you know what I said? Man, I want some of that. You know what happened? I started living for a bigger vision than myself and all of a sudden, the bank account started going up because you started doing different shit because our intentions changed. Some of you, you came here to learn how to make more money. Really, you need to leave here and change and then you'll make more money. You won't get the money until you change. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. I said the scarcest resource in this world is leadership. Leadership is a skill of influence. Who loves sales? Raise your hand. I'm a salesperson. You know what I do? I run the largest sales training company in the world. You know what we teach salespeople? You lead people when you sell them because you lead them to go from here to there. Am I right? You influence their emotions, their thoughts, their actions. That's what a leader is. Anything that can be taught is a skill. If someone's a good speaker, can you learn it? If someone can get in shape, can you learn it? If you're in here today with your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your wife, and you see me hold my wife's hand, can you reach over and hold your wife's hand? Yes or no? Okay. If we're going to the gym, can you go to the gym? You know what I think? I think God put some people on this earth so, and they're not very successful and they don't have the best marriages and they're not changing anybody's lives so we can see what it'll look like if we don't get our shit together. Listen to me, I'm gonna say it again. I think he put some people here that are not paying attention, that don't care, that literally don't wanna learn any of this They'll never have a bigger vision than themselves. They'll never want to be a leader. They'll never want to help other people have a better life. They'll never want to be the example for anyone. They'll never want to build a team. They'll never want to have their children choose them as a hero. They'll never want to give their, their wife the right of a lifetime and keep their fucking promise. They'll never do any of this. They're uncoachable, okay? They're arrogant, they're closed-minded. I think he put some of these people here on earth so that we can see what will happen if we don't get our shit together. I'm here to tell you, if you wake up today, everything that I have, I'm so fucking happy. I'm not even joking. I'm ready to die. I'm not even playing. If I was to die today, I have no regrets. Discipline's hard, okay? Regrets fucking hard. Discipline's easy. Make a good decision. Should I be nice to people? Should I wake up and go to the gym? Should I be good to my family? Should I audit everybody around me? Should I make sure I'm around the right people? Should I self-invest in myself? Yes or no? Yep. Yeah. yeah. If given the opportunity to grow and learn, should I write the check for speed? It, who's, who's in charge of your identity? You. Can any of you in here get a new life if you don't change your identity, yes or no? That's what I want you guys to understand today. Do listen, everybody say delusional. delusional. Your goal is to become delusional. 
No one's going to believe any of you until you give them evidence. Do you understand? Who cares? It's fuel. Everybody, stop telling my wife. She said, stop telling people about the sacrifices you're making. You tell them when you make it. You tell them what you made. If you tell them along the journey, you're complaining. Does that make sense? Guys, I'm telling you how to live when you guys get out of here. Okay. I'm going to go all the way through because I'm at six minutes. And, I, and by the way, let me back up. It says the time it takes you to make a decision decides your level of success. Okay? Never forget I said that. If I tell you, if you come do this with me, it shows me how serious you are about learning or this thing that you want by speed and urgency. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Speed and urgency. I want to go over this last one. I'm going to skip all the way to the end. Do you guys see this? What does that say? Well, it almost went to the end. My bad. Let's go one more. What does that say? It says the Eagles rebirth. Who knows what that is? Raise your hand. Okay. Who in here is ready to totally recreate their life? Raise your hand. All right. Here we go. An eagle, listen to me. True story, it's the same in your life. At 39 years old, I made a decision. My wife, I could tell that she was disappointed in me. I don't know about any of you. You can clearly tell I look up to my wife a lot. There's people who believe in you and people who don't. When somebody doesn't believe in you, you burn their fucking eyes out with your winning. You burn their eyes out. You guys understand? But when someone believes in you over your dead fucking body, do you, do you, not let, do, do you make sure that you fucking don't let them down? And, and you listen to me. I'm going to tell you something that really pissed me off. I remember one time I was sitting around with a guy, and he goes, it's guys like you that give me job security because I wasn't that good at what I did yet. And I thought, one day, man, I'm going to fuck everybody up. And I'm just saying this completely raw to you guys. One day... I'm going to show up. And I'm going to tell you, Jackie called me out. It was a tough night. I literally looked in the mirror and you know what I realized? I didn't even recognize me. I'm going to be crystal clear with a lot of you. I said, I'm ready to die today. I'm good, man. My kids look up to me. They want to be just like me. I built a badass team. They're, I mean, I want to keep going. I want to go for another 50 years, but I'm telling you, if I die today, I'm good. I'm proud of me. I got a good heart. I have no darkness in me. My mind is focused. I own my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm financially free and I'm free in my mind. I'm close to God. Yeah, I, I cuss a little bit. The Pharisees, they didn't. They had the darkest hearts out there. Okay, my heart's good. I tell, the, I tell it like it is. I told Jackie, I said, it's time for me to recreate. And I remember I went and went to YouTube and I watched a video. In the last three minutes, I want you to think, what are you going to do when you get out of here? Last three minutes. Number one, you're going to become a leader. And you're going to make the decisions. And you're going to hold yourself responsible from everything from this point forward. And you're going to get it all. All of it. Badass marriage. Badass parenting. Badass income. Badass leader. Badass team. Physically fit like a monster. You're going to become a machine. Okay? And I mean it. Hey there, sales warriors. Are you tired of facing objections left and right, struggling to close deals, and watching your competitors snatch away your prospects? Well, you're not alone. Recent surveys indicate that a whopping 72% of sales professionals struggle with handling objections, leading to missed opportunities and lost revenue. But fear not, there's a solution to this all too common problem. Enter Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook, your ultimate guide to mastering sales strategies and objection handling like a pro. Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook isn't just a collection of tips and tricks, it's a comprehensive roadmap to success packed with actionable insights and real world examples that you can start implementing right away. And here's the best part. Andy's playbook isn't just for seasoned sales veterans. Whether you're a rookie looking to kickstart your career or a seasoned pro aiming to sharpen your skills, there's something for everyone in this playbook. 
So if you're ready to arm yourself with the knowledge and confidence you need to crush objections, close more deals, and skyrocket your sales career, don't hesitate. Click the link below to grab your copy of Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook today. Remember, success favors the prepared. Equip yourself with the tools you need to outshine the competition and become a sales powerhouse. The time to elevate your game is now. Now let's make this your best year yet. Now let's get back to the video. So we're all gonna make this decision today, and I made it. And by the way, I'm gonna do it again with you guys. Actually, one to 10, I think I'm a one to my 10. I'm just getting fucking warmed up. And you guys in here, listen to me. I know where I'm going, and I wanna know where you're gonna go. So we're gonna make this decision. Nobody knows what you're capable of except you. My wife, she told me that I was gonna be a badass, and I fucking believed her. In, in the last four years, every day, I've stayed disciplined, I've done the work, I've been good to people, I make good decisions, I spend money on myself, I self-develop, I make bold moves, future truth, who I wanna be, I stay close to God, I, 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 I don't get civilized. Do you guys feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I would like all of you guys to make a decision today. Who in here wants to go through this? Raise your hand. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you guys this, listen to me. Jackie said, you know why people don't like themselves? Is because they say they're gonna do something and they don't keep their word. You guys feel me? I know every single one of you guys are qualified for a badass life. If given the opportunity any time in your life to get around somebody that's doing better than you, write the check for speed. If Ryan goes, I want you to come train with me, buy a ticket for two, one for you and your wife. Buy a ticket for one for you and your son. Buy a ticket for you and your business partner. Buy a ticket for you and the people that you care about. Take them with me. You guys feel me? Yeah. I love you guys. Let's go. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.